Hi hey everyone! In this video I want to introduce a project that we, and by we I mean you, will implement to solidify everything that we've learned until this point. Here is what it'll do. It will turn a normal picture, like this one, into a pixelated form, like that one. And not only that, but it will also do all this in the terminal. Before we go into details, I hope that by now you know that you can find the full homework description below this video under a link to the course GitHub repository. I also provide an empty project skeleton with some boilerplate code for you to get started in an easier way. Now let's talk details, shall we? In order to perform the pixelation, we have to perform a number of actions. First, we have to load the image from disk. We do this using the external library STB, or more concretely, a couple of functions from a header stbimage.h from that library. In order to use this library, we will have to add it as a submodule. We already talked about submodules before, but I also provide a necessary command in the homework description file I mentioned before. Unfortunately, stb is a C library, so memory management is not its strongest side. That means that uh, we have to store the data that the stb library gave us in a safe way. How lucky for us that we learned about raw pointers and proper move semantics already! So we can implement a class, say, stb image data view, that will manage the memory allocated by the stb library for us. We should be able to move the objects of this class around, and they should free the memory upon destruction. Again, I have an example to ease your way into this in the homework description. Eventually, we will also need a way to manipulate the colors in an image, so we will implement a class image that will allow us to directly access and manipulate the RGB pixels in it. We can represent the colors uh, as a vector of uh, ftxui color, which comes from an awesome library ftxui, which we will also have to add as a submodule to our code. Once again, I provide an example of how this library can be used in a project skeleton. At this point, we should be ready to implement the pixelate image function that would take our stb image data view, pixelate it and return it as an image instance. This is the most algorithmically intense part of the project, but fear not, I'm sure you can manage. Finally, once we have the pixelated image at hand, we would like to show it in the terminal. We will again use the ftxui library for that, the way we can do it is to wrap the ftxui screen instance into a class drawer that, makes, uh, that takes an image instance and can draw it to the terminal. And you guessed it, you'll find an example to guide you through this in the project skeleton. Oh, and of course we have to test all of this. So we add Google test as a submodule to the project too. We write tests for all of the stuff I just talked about and test away. And that's it. That's all the functionality that you have to implement here. Now, I know it sounds like a lot, and uh, if I'm honest, it might probably be, but it is still a good project to take on in order to get comfortable with coding in C++. Once again, all the needed details are in the repo linked in the description below this video. And at this, I wish you good luck, have lots of fun implementing it, and do take your time on this project. It sure took me a long time to prepare everything. It probably will take you multiple hours, or maybe even days, but there are no shortcuts to learning. If something is really confusing, do start a discussion in the GitHub organization linked under the video. Thanks again for watching, and have fun implementing it all. And if you want a refresher on the move semantics or testing your code, do click on the thumbnails uh, that have just appeared on your screen. Bye.